today I'm here to facilitate a workshop for you. But what we're going to do today is to play a game. So I will bring the minimum uh, theory that we need for the game. And for the rest of the workshop, we're going to be playing something, working with prioritization. And after that, we're going to debrief and have an open discussion, a quick discussion here, and what are the points that we've found out during the, this facilitation. Um, what is the main purpose of this uh, workshop? Is to bring a bit of more objectivity to our uh, prioritization. So a bit of your background. Can you just shout what, what is your role? Or do you work with like PO, business analysts, scrum master, devs? Product owner, developer, nice to have developers as well. Okay, good. Liked, like people coming to this area from this. Product manager, product manager. Okay, and uh, starting off with my First question, how do you usually prioritize things? Uh, by the way, this uh, workshop is going to be more focused on features at the level, not a use story level, more team level. It's more in terms of prioritization, in terms of business prioritization, in terms of strategic prioritization, which is more important for our business. Is this feature, should we focus on this feature or on that feature? And how we can assess that, how we can have more objectivity when discussing this? How do you usually prioritize? How do you, do you usually prioritize when you are having a discussion about should we do this or should we do that? So um, at least we um, try to prioritize uh, uh, choosing um, goals mm -hmm. of the company, putting oh, all mean? the uh, projects, and then once again we, ch we check each project and um, uh, see what's the score in it. So it means uh, the target is that um, uh, in case one project could cover a couple goals, it would be prioritized up, and mm -hmm. if it doesn't meet the uh, goals, then it goes down. So you are trying more to quantify rather than to qualify, right? To, to yes. come up with something that you can assess and something that's tangible. So yeah, yes. based on our assessment, this has a X score and that has a Y score and then exactly. based on our... Yes. And we are going to go the workshop is going to this way Okay. Cool. today. So bring more objectivity rather than I think this is prior for me, you think this is prior for you and we have CTOs, CFOs, or whatever in a meeting, saying this, is, I should, we should do that because it's my priority, it's my value. This is valuable for me, and they don't say no. This is valuable for me, and then what happens is this: we have this is the commonest, sorry, it should be white, the the two commonest way that we have in prioritization companies that I've seen. Do you know what LVD in hypo stands for? L lowest voice dominates and the hypo highest paid person opinion that defines this is priority or that's priority and then we don't focus on trying to be m to quantify the weight of that uh, value and then compare both and I've been in, in meetings currently I'm, I'm working on this and try to bring cost of delay for for this uh, meeting where uh, we have different VPs saying, no, this is more priority. No, 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 this is more priority. And and we ended up having endless discussions. And whenever we walk away, even though we define a priority, we can realize that people say, that won't work because there will be conflict of interest. Um, so then uh, Don brought in his book uh, the principles of uh, the principles of a product development flow. This, if you need to quantify something, quantify the cost of delay. Try to bring an economic view into your decisions. But what is that? What is cost of delay? The cost of delay is 
how much it would cost me if I don't have it, this thing now. So if I have three or four things, which would cost me more if I don't have it right now? And then I, I get those three or four things or the items that I'm assessing, and uh, I say, okay, if this will bring me or more loss of money or more revenue, and then I can assess, okay, this should be done first and that one second. And we're gonna, we're gonna see how to do that. So it's, it, again, it's calculated by the impact of not having something that you need right now, or what is the cost between having the same thing now or later? Should I have it now or should I have it later? This is cost of delay. Okay, and uh, here, just one to try to uh, exemplify. If I have, if we are, we are prioritizing right now, and I have three features, the cost of delay, the cost of not having that feature right now is a thousand euro, a thousand euro dollars. And uh, the estimation that I have to do those features is for feature A is one, B is ten, C is a hundred. Which one? What would what would be your prioritization list here? Which one would you do first? A first, then B, then C. Equal cost. You just choose the one that duration is uh, smaller. If I have equal duration, the cost of not having this right now, which one would you choose? So, say it again? Now, the cost of not having right now, how much I'm losing from my pocket? This, if I don't have this feature right now, it costs me $10,000. So it would be C, B, and A. Easy, still easy. And here, if we have different cost and duration, the cost is different and duration is different. Which one would you do first? Why? You are losing more money of not having this, and it's the short to implement. So of course, let's let's bring the, the cost down. So there's the first, then there's the second, then A, B, C. It's too easy, right? But the whole point is, how we come we come up with this? How how do we know how much money are we losing of not having that feature? It's hard, isn't it? How how, how to quantify money and value? Uh, there is a website, I will bring this later on, called Black Swarm Farming, Black Swarm, Swarm Farming, that they bring a very complex way of calculating this. But uh, my opinion is whenever it's too complex, people won't adopt it. And then, uh, have you heard about SAFE, the scaled framework, agile framework? SAFE? If SAFE is it's like, so, Comparing to Scrum, Scrum uh, is a framework to work with teams. Safe comes with the idea that there it's an it's agile framework for your whole organization. And they work in layers, uh, working with apps, features, and, uh, and teams, and then stories. And it, it basically try to co come up with the flow throughout the organization from leadership, up to leadership, perhaps your, your CTO, C CFO, going to management and then to the teams in that structure and uh, they come up with, they came up with this idea let, let's use cost of delay to to prioritize here within the framework but rather than coming with this complex way of calculating cost of, cost of delay let's use something that we already have here which is uh, uh, relative estimation have you ever heard about relative estimation planning poker in teams such as star points planning poker comparing size rather than say, oh, this is a thousand and that is a hundred thousand. Rather than say, this is a one, this is 10 times more than that one. So comparing in terms of size, relative estimation. Are you familiar with this concept we're gonna use today? Okay, so going a bit further to understand this, here I have the three features. One will cost me 10 grand, uh, the other eight, and the other 20 with the size of the weeks. It, 
it gets a bit more complicated, correct? But basically what happens is this. Uh, uh, one thing that I, did, I didn't mention is um, we have the cost of delay, but why do you prioritize? First of all, I forgot to ask this. Why do you prioritize? Why do you prioritize things? Why? You can't do. Why? If you had all the capacity in the world. That's the point. Getting together your, your both points, yes. We have limited capacity, right? So what we want to do is to maximize the value that, that limited capac capacity produce in any sense, not to just in software development, anything. So if I have limited capacity, I have to maximize of what I'm producing with that capacity. And that's why we prioritize. That's, that's the purpose of prioritizing. And here, basically, so there's a cost to me. And this is how long that resource, that capacity is going to be blocked producing what I want. So going to maths, what happens the cost of delay is, let's suppose that I do first A, then B, then C. What's going to happen? The cost of delay for A is 10 uh, thousand per, per week. During six weeks, it cost, cost is 6K. Then I do B. Remember, I already spent six weeks with feature A. So I'm going to do the six weeks, start from six weeks onwards. Then the p three weeks that I'm going to spend with B, that cost me eight grand. I had to wait this 8K here for six weeks that I was producing this here. And the same happens for the feature three. I had to wait the A first, then the B, with this cost of uh, 20K per week. And that gives me how much this is going to cost me. And it's just to do maths then. Which sequence should we do? Should we choose in this priority here? Why? The one that will bring me lower loss in my pocket. Right? I want to minimize the cost of delay. So but what we've we done here, we don't need to do this every time because it's very complex. We have something called weighted job, uh, weighted short job first, which is cost of delay divided by duration. And if we see, and we, if we do this in here, that's what we have. OK? So what I'm doing is getting how much the cost of delay I have divided by the size. And then I have the what they call some people, well, the, the correct, I, I'm going to bring the, the, what that means, uh, the, the words. But it's weighted short, weighted short job first. Some people call WSDIF. And other people, what Jesus found. found. So what Jesus is going to found for, for us. But it's basically getting the cost of delay divided by how long that uh, resource is going to be blocked. And then we can see here, what is the sequence? This one here has more importance than this one here, and then this one here, which would be C A. Oh, sorry, yeah, B C A. B sorry, B A C. Two point six six one six six, which is here. This whole math is here we do with this. What that means? This weighted shortest job first, or what Jesus found. And that's what we're gonna use today in our workshop. However. How are we going to come up with uh, the cost of delay? Again, it's, it's numbers, it's money. In SAFE, what I mentioned, that framework, they said, we can use proxies. proxies. Let's use what I mentioned, the relative estimation, and use proxies to come up with uh, our cost of delay. So if I compare, rather than using, uh, for example, this is going to cost me 1,000 euros, or that's going to cost me 10,000 euros. I can try to come up with, so this is going to be size, it's, it's about one, what's going to bring me of cost or the value, and this is going to bring me 10 times more. So I can compare easily. It doesn't matter the, the number if I'm doing the relative estimation. And so cost of delay has some levers that we're going to discuss later on that we can have even more. But 
some ideas here. The user and business value. So we try to compare between our features, our epics, uh, how, how much business value does this bring me? Then I can also use time criticality. Uh, how many of you here worked with um, work with seasonal uh, deliveries? For example, Christmas. There are a lot of companies, games. Games work a lot of with time criticality here. If they don't have FIFA, for those who like uh, games and so on, if they don't have, uh, have like the FIFA out of the door in no, to October, November, they're going for, they're going for the, the Christmas time. They're losing a lot of money. So there's a lot of time criticality here. It's very high, but whenever we cross that date, it's zero, because then we lost. It's gone. Um, the other one, risk reduction, reduction and opportunity enablement. How many of you here work with G GDPR? Have you worked with the GDP GDPR? So, what's something that was bringing business value to you? Perhaps not that much. You could prioritize other things. You had nice things to do to create, right? However, you were dealing with risk. What would happen if you were not GDPR compliant? And a very high fine. So you were basically going towards here time criticality because you had to deliver by certain date and the risk reduction because if you didn't if you weren't uh, not uh, GDPR compliant you could get a fine that definitely could put in danger your business it's not because you wanted to it's a law things like that so basically the cost of delay we bring levers and what's gonna happen is rather than to Talk about value. What value is all? Oh, uh, this has value five. This has value eight. We're gonna focus on we call these levers or var variables. First, we're gonna talk just about business value. Then we're gonna assess, do the relative estimation and time criticality, and then we're gonna focus on risk reduction. And summing this up, we're gonna have our cost of delay. And as we are using the same uh, baseline, it doesn't matter. Uh, it do we don't need to bring money. We just keep the same baseline, compare in size, and we're gonna have our WSGIF. And that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do today. Here's some ideas of cost of delay. If we need to break down business and user value, uh, perhaps revenue impact, how much money this is bringing to me. Uh, potential penalty, G GDPR could also consider here, be considered here. Time criticality. I mentioned the, the, the Christmas time for uh, games, for example, or elections. We're having elections in Brazil, so if you are working creating products for the elections, if you don't have by the date, you can call the president and say, oh, can we just postpone the election? You're gone. And uh, risk reduction, uh, the same thing. Uh, will people move, uh, will enable opportunities for us? Uh, is there a value in information that we receive? Feedback and so on. So we're gonna use levers during our, um, our workshop, our game. And that's all of theory for today. That's what you need to do. And now, we will need to self-organize. We have two, four, six, seven. So one group of three on one group of four. Uh, I will do advice when we need to move some chairs and we need to have some space. Why? Because now we're going to build a city. And uh, what happened is, we are a de development company, and we've, we bought some uh, space on some uh, farms a couple of hours from our main city. We've bulldozed, bulldozed them, and we want to build a satellite city. That's what we're going to do. Each group will do the same. Um, what we're, what we're going to have is, we, oops, sorry. We will need to uh, make money by building houses and shops and selling them. We won't operate it. We're going to build it and then we're going to sell. So we have to look in terms of selling things, not operating how much money that uh, shop will bring operating that shop. No, we're going to build and sell it. Okay. We have some cash, but not, as, not much. So cash flow is one of our con concerns so we have to keep this in mind because we need to generate some cash flow otherwise we're going to bankrupt 
Okay. Uh, that's why it's our prime consideration. I've hired some marketing guys and they've the, they've done the all the assessments, and they came up with eight major uh, things that we can build, or we're gonna, we're gonna build. So during their their uh, research, they came up with those are the eight main things that we should build for our um, our city. Okay. If you don't have eight, just let me know. You should have eight per, per group. And what is your job? Your job is going to be to assess those eight epics and apply the WSDIF, which is cost of delay divided by time. How this looks like is this. So basically here we have the elevator pitch, which gives us uh, the description of what we what consists in that epic? We're gonna. Are you familiar with? Are you familiar with epics? Epics, features. Yes. No. User story. User story. Have you heard about use? So use epic is a big, big, big user story. See, so as a really big user story, that your developer, right? So as a developer, if you get that user story, you're going to say, no, this is too big. And then you're going to break in smaller pieces. So epics usually is what CTOs, CFOs will be talking. They have the, the, the elevator pitch, which is a summary of aligned with the st strategic uh, approach of the company. And uh, they are working, OK, this is our main priority. And then this starts developing. It's, it's in a higher level. Basically, see, every time that you go fr from um, the strategic, strategic level of a company going to start up the teams, the things start breaking down in smaller pieces. So uh, a CTO won't talk about store, a user story. It's, it's too uh, funny, it's too thinny, it's like too small. They, were, they, they talk about uh, something bigger, which is what I, I summarize is uh, we have user story, uh, a, features, a feature is a bunch of user stories. It's a big user story, but it's a bunch. And an epic is a bunch of features. It's just, uh, you know, augmenting the size of the user story. Perhaps a user story is something that you do in a few days, a feature in a month or two, and an epic perhaps in half a year. Okay, just to give you an idea of its size. So basically, we have here the elevator pitch, the description of the 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 shop of the house. And here we have our three levers, business value, timing value, and risk reduction. We are going to focus in one lever per time. We're going to start with risk reduction. Whenever we finish this, it's just maths. We sum up those three levers. We already have the size. And then we have the GIF. And then we can see our prioritized list. Here I have the name of the, the epic. And here, how much money it's estimated to bring to our pocket with that a cell. I have it here. What you have is you have to calculate the wastage job first, and we're going to prioritize them. So I have eight levers here, eight shops, houses, and things like that. I have eight here. What is the prioritized list? Which one should go first? And we're going to use cost of delay and duration to calculate this, to bring more objectivity to our prioritization. There will be doubt. Is there any question at this moment? Possibly a l l the question, the idea is you need to try. And we're going to struggle a bit in some points, and then we're going to discuss about the points. Any question? Any doubt? Here's the same thing. This is the same thing than here. It's basically the same thing. Oops. Here, more detailed instructions. So we're going to start reviewing the epics. So go through all of them, understand them. Then we're going to start with risk reduction. And uh, here we have two things. We can do planning poker. How many of you are famili familiar with planning poker? Relative estimation. So, okay. So, uh, uh, 
you guys that are familiar will be responsible to help out your colleagues. I'll be walking around and I'll be also helping. This is one, op uh, one option to do planning poker. The other one, have you heard about affinity estimation? A affinity estimation. It's something like this. Rather than doing planning poker, I just put the cards, the size, and then I say, okay, this is the lowest. It, in terms of uh, risk opportunity, I think that this is the lowest value that you're going to have. And then I get second card, say, compared to this one, is this m more, less, or what is going to fit? Oh, it's going to fit here. And then I got the third one, comparing to this and to that, where it's going to fit. It's the same idea of planning poker, it's another technique of uh, estimating. I will be on the groups to help out as well. So what we need right now is, we're going to have a time box for around 45 minutes. We need two groups, one of three, one of four, and we need at least one person that is familiar with planning poker per group, self-organization. We will need to move around chairs to have uh, some space because you're gonna hear, you're gonna you're gonna need this. Yeah, you can use whatever to just around. This is the first one. You have. If you if you wanna see the instructions what I had before, just here. Three here. These instructions. Just get together. Three and four. Self organization. Do you can decide. No, it's, it's just one here and one there. It, it's a just just choose. <laughs> yeah. So just get together, and uh, I would say that go through understand the, the epics first and then uh, start by the risk reduction okay I'm gonna turn it off because I won't speak for this moment and then turn it on afterwards Is that okay You can read all together, one read all of them, or you can like split and then use use the ground here to read the 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 board. I do have six notes. Good. Oh, sorry, I forgot about that. I forget some things, folks. So we have for those who are running poker. If you want to use planning poker yeah. or a finished estimation as well, so you can put the cards. Oh, but yeah, I like the second. The second is. Yeah, it was passed. Uh, whatever. One. Just uh, one. Oh, two. you can write it. Yeah. Cool. One or two for you. You need to write this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I would advise to use a uh, size from 1 to 0, no, but from 1 to 13, max 20. Don't use 40 or whatever. Yeah, uh, up to 20, yeah, or 13. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I would advise to use from 1 to 30 or max 20 because we just have 8. If you go higher than this, yeah. it's going to be a bit hard to, to, to uh, estimate relatively. Okay. If you have questions, we just. We will have to use flying poker and have it. No, we're going to, we're going to start. We're going to focus. First one is risk reduction. Is this one here? So, flying poker or risk reduction? Yes. So, we're going to understand this and we're going to focus. Risk reduction. Okay. How much risk reduction 
this uh, uh, store or this uh, thing will bring to my business. Okay. All right. How should we determine that? Uh, say that again? Yeah. So you, you read this, right? Yeah. And then you discuss how much risk reduction is related to our business. Focus, focus on this lever first, this one first, right? I can, to help you out, perhaps I can, risk reduction here can help you out to have some uh, variables in here, what the risk reduction is. So the, the first one that we have to do is to find the least. What is the one that will bring less risk reduction for our business? That one, if it, I don't have it, it won't make that much difference to us in terms of re redu uh, reducing the risk of my business. If I don't have this, so, I don't have much. At the top one should be the highest risk. The highest risk. The well, highest risk. reduction. Highest reduction. Yeah, how much? If I have this, the chance that I'm going to succeed, succeed is higher. Ah, all right. If I don't have this, it won't make difference. It's lower. All right. Because they don't so one, one thing that you can answer the, the, the doubt here is which, which one contributes the least for the success of the city? This is a question that I can for, 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 for example, a police station because it's going to be safer. People will yeah. yeah. post that too. You know? Perhaps you could do it. Yes, but this is it's, it's hiding of this picture. It's easier. Yeah, 
So which one has uh, contributes to the uh, most success of our city, or reduce the risk of our business? If I have this first, I will reduce the risk of the group. If I have this, I mean, 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 Dabar kažkoks ekstremalus technologinis parkas, kai iš čia. 
Public transport. Public transport. Tu turi būti rinkinką pačios. Jo, šitas turėtų įtumti. Bet šitas jau yra prie vidurio, nes jis mums generuos didesnius pinkus. Nu, jie žiūrint į blaivinius. Tu prasme, šitas tikrai yra žemiau, negu šitas, turbūt. Nes turtuoliai turi kur gyventi, pradžioj, kad galėtų atražiuoti čia. Taip, gerai, turtuoliai važiuojam aukščiau. Kaip jūs manote? Darbas pritraukia aukščiau. Jo, darbas pritraukia kur gyvens. Aš sakyčiau, Turtas Nu, O nebus taip, kad pirma, jie turi gauti darbą, įdomu, kuriai kategorijai priklausytų va šitie, mėlinuose ar žaliuose gyventų? Nesvarbu, aš manau, jokio skirtų realiai, pagal tiesiog visą riziką, be šito mes miestas išgyventų ko puikiausia. Be turtingų namų miestas suktusi, suktusi, be darbo pritraukimo, Ir jiems duodam šiekiek pramogus. Ten tam. Geltonas. Atrodo, šitais irgi. 
one, one thing that can help out first is think in uh, I'm building a city. Good. What, what I should have in that city for that city to grow? Mm -hmm. It's literally to create a city from scratch. There's no people that's no desert. Back. And <laughs> what I should I have to have there initially to have people come in and be, have mm -hmm. a city? So, and if people come to that city, what do they need? So, if you don't, then you sharp it there and uh, you just write in uh, risk of potential defense. Okay. Huh? Uh, so, you're going to put 13 here, 8 here. Again, uh, another thing that I just forgot this, this to everyone is uh, it's important. It's it's not. We don't need to be a hundred percent right because if you try to find the one hundred percent right, you're gonna be a hundred percent wrong. So it's it's better to be rotely, hopefully, right than a hundred percent wrong. So the idea is is is, is to help us out to have a tool to prioritize. It doesn't mean that perhaps if you have a, uh, you are having a discussion now, this is a two, this is a three, perhaps not worth it because it's, it's quite close mm -hmm. and it's just support us. The problem in what we should talk more is uh, if you think that's a one and I think it's a 13, then yeah. there's something very far. If it's close enough, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't mind much and I would just carry on yeah. because we are very close. Okay. Between the two or three, for example. Uh, in question, then, uh, in time criticality, uh, mm -hmm. again, 13 is the most the critical the rather than yes. one. Yes, yes. So yes. This, this is the less critical, less critical, this is the most critical. Yeah. 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 Да, но 
Dabar mes sakėm, kad steigiam darbo vietas. Taisai tikrai čia. Ir galim sakyti pažaidžiam, kad mes jam pastatom iš karto. Manai, gali, nu, tarp kitko, jie laikinai gali apsistuoti ir vėžinti į atvykį pažaidžiam. Vis dabar jam nereikia namo. Jie vis tiek, jeigu jie per mieste, tai jie, sakykime, vis tiek norės. Namų. Jie pagyvens viešbūt ir paprastas tiek, kad iš turbūt daugiai namų. Ne, tai tai ir jūs tikrai norės pamokyti. Ir dabar yra turčiai ir kaip jūs turčiai. Nes ir jie būtų pastatysiu parto turbūt. Kas minėtų nebūtų turbūt. Kaip ir pastatysiu parto 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 turbūt.
Okay, so this one here, if we time criticality, this guy here, they will acquire a major stake. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure it should be finished in three months, correct? Yes. Right. If I compare this to this one here, they, they are saying that they won't commit early unless we give like a very good discount. Yeah. It's just bad for us. Why? Uh, low money. <laughs> Give me more, yes? Do you remember the, the, exactly this, this is the way? Because uh, the client is not loyal, yeah. if you could say, we will wait, we will bring more uh, people for your mail, but uh, we don't bring your discounts. That means, going to what you said, if I deliver this early, they went to a real discount, perhaps this later one will write a lot of money, that's why they want yeah. money. If you compare to this, if they are gonna definitely deliver in three months, uh, buy if you deliver in three months, how critical is this one? Like, okay. A little bit more than this one actually. Yeah, compared to this uh, one, no, no, let's compare it here. Uh, they have early demand from the perspective of local business and management. Well, they, yeah? <laughs> they have this one yeah. clearly. Yeah. Okay. So you're, you're looking at time criticality, right? Time, uh, when I should have. So actually, if we compare the, this, so this one it shouldn't be in the we, same. Which you know, one do you know that you have to have by a certain date? Well, this and yeah, yeah. a certain date. Stop, stop. No, a certain, certain date. date on the one that's because it's on the time box or this is. I have a certain amount. It can be every, perhaps six months. Is it not time? What is early? Yeah. This, is a, this is a fixed date. Yeah. If, you work, if you work with Kanban, the yeah. Yeah. when you have a fixed date, you know by when you should deliver. The other one, you possibly have some flexibility, right? Because you don't have a fixed date. Yeah, so okay. we didn't pay attention uh -huh. to the red comments, so. <laughs> yeah, I'll, now for time criticality, I would definitely tell you to look the the red comments here because they have good tips. And based on what you said, should this measure should be higher or lower if they are they want a very good discount? Should so be lower than actually. Time value Because if they want discounts, it's because, because, because they are seeing value in getting money out of that. Yeah. So perhaps if no. let me remember that we are selling. Yeah. And uh, you look for this one that you have a uh, fixed date. Mm. There's no right and wrong, you can keep it there. Yeah, I'm just course. saying, take a look in terms mm -hmm. of, there's one where you have a really fixed date that you have to deliver. If, if you have limited capacity and you will use for those both that are on top, yeah. perhaps you need the one of the three months. No? Yes. 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 Well, more or less, because yes. 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 we have a hard deadline for this one, and we should be aiming to kind of finish this. And after that, we can kind of start in building the little bit lower priority. Yeah. And the shopping mall can be you know, yeah, done. Just uh, just roll. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so careful when we have fixed the date. Because you can't get out of that. Mm -hmm. So if, if you don't live in three months, do you remember the, the Christmas that I mentioned? Yeah. If you don't live by Christmas or by election, it's gone. Mm -hmm. You've lost a lot of money there. The cost of delaying that is high. At least for this level. Yeah. Just to understand why, what, what's their assessment of the, the Unil's model? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even if you know that uh, early, you have to sell them a discount. So they are seeing that there is a good value. If you sell this later on, you can make money. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, my question I have in here. So, you, you, this is the highest power in terms of I have to look at this right now. Okay? Uh, assessing those three, if I don't have capacity to to leave this three at the same time, which one do I have? Higher priority in terms of time. Okay, which one you have a fixed date? Oh, this one I will move up. Fixed date for the next large part. So, remember the Christmas time that I mentioned? Yeah. FIFA doesn't go out for Christmas time? Mm -hmm. it's, it's value is very high, but if we cross that time, it's zero. Because then we lost the opportunity in terms of time. So in terms of time, which one has more priority? Which one will have a higher date? The technology one. So we should move others to the lower position. It's up to you. If you want to use a 20, you can use a 20. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this our business value? This is a very, very good tip and hint for business value. So we have this done for you. But not equal. Business value and not equal estimated value. No, it's all equal. It, it's how much money. This is my, our team. Our team did the, the research and they said this is pretty much the value that we're going to get, the revenue that we're going to get selling. Mm -hmm. so uh, basically, like from the highest to the lowest, <laughs> it's, it's pretty much done for us. Yeah, we're just So, yeah, that's what I have to do. Yeah. Oh, rich, rich. Rich, rich. That's small business seller. If you this is again support us to make decisions. So if it's gonna for I one or two, that's not a problem. Of my position. So if you you think that the problem is if this one should be there and that one should be here. But if it's closer, just move on and go to the third one, third lever. Which is a business value. With, with this, our capacity, can we have three buildings at the same time? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We don't worry. Okay. We, we assess later on because we are talking yeah. about time value. Yeah. Okay. At the end, we're gonna calculate the this diff, okay. and if perhaps they they go to different positions, okay. and then we we're gonna have different values. So now you put the numbers, and then you move to the third one. There's a big, big hint. And uh, I guess yeah. it's estimated value. Yeah, so our team already assessed uh, the busy value, and you have a, a very good team. And then you do maths. Have you finished the three levers? Just do maths. Sum up and divide it by. You probably need a calculator. Uh, you, you need a calculator because. Yeah. <laughs> How much effort are you going to put to build that? Yeah, 
Just do one list only. I will. Do, can you do that like here? Because we're gonna see what happened with the other group as well. Have you, yeah, what Jesus found? Yeah. Okay, Have you finished box? Yes. Okay. Okay, now we can compare what happened with. Oh, by the way, there's no wrong and right way answer. Let's compare the first three and the, the last two and what happened between the teams. What do we have here? What are the first three here? The same. Uh, yeah, the shopping strip, scale of accommodation, and extreme technology park. Yeah, the same, but, uh, Just slightly different. Order, yeah. What about last two? White uh, Downs Estate and Rich, rich, rich Estates. Uh, we have a shopping mall and Rich Rich Estate as well. Okay, so on the top list we have pretty much the same, just a slightly variation between second and third, and the last one is the same, and the variation in the other. Day. So, what do you think? What is your, what we will build. No, what? what, <laughs> what what did it struck you? What uh, did it impress you, or what caused your attention between the things, the prioritization that we've just done now? Like First question: Did you like it? Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 If you had to put this in place, perhaps we have uh, shopping, we have a technology park, and a scale accommodation. What down state? Blueville. So, the business that we are prioritizing, are we going to have people in that city? Or are we going to build things and we'll have people just later on? Well, we are kind of hoping to attract people and have accommodation and later on we'll be building for someone to stay in the city actually. According to our plan that you can see here. Okay. By chance, have you talked talk or discussed in any moment what kind of view the city of your, are we building? Uh, what kind of city are, are we building? Uh, we had a short discussion. Are we building a like a like Las Vegas or, or, or uh, Silicon, Silicon, Valley. Silicon Valley? Yeah. Great. They have talked to that about we, which city we are, we are we building? We are building technology city. But uh, was it clear? Enough. Really? Oh, In which, which, which moment that did you have that conversation? The beginning, uh, middle, or the end? At the end. 
Uh, yeah, the middle like, and the end. Yeah, we kind of we didn't we started yeah, thinking about vision. it, but then kind of lost it and just went along with the prioritization and that's that. And we didn't think about the vision of the city actually. We just kept so focusing on the yeah. What kind of city are we in? Proper vision. Mm -hmm. We we start having the conversation, but we had in the middle. When should we have? Discussion about project vision, vision. Yeah, vision. So, vision. Yeah. so how we can prioritize something yeah. without vision? <laughs> Let's suppose that this is a, a commercial city. Well, it's not a city for people living there. It's just a commercial city, close to a big city. Mm -hmm. What about our prioritization? Yeah, I think it will change, yeah, right? I think most of us uh, were engineers, and I think <laughs> that the city has to be just <laughs> technology park. One thing that I'm not sure if you realized, there's an icon in each uh, car there. Yeah. Just split the ones that have a, a, a shopping cart and the ones that have a, a uh, house. So you can put in two different lists. What do you see here now, the difference? Balance. Not only balance, but type of, we can have value stream, right? Yeah. So if we want to focus perhaps in more housing, that list perhaps would have a higher priority than this list here. Yeah. If we're going to focus on, or we, even if we're going to balance, we could have come up with the top three or four just business, and then we wouldn't have people living there. I don't know, I'm just bring on a hypothesis. And that's why it's important to have a product vision. The first thing that we have to, to start off is product vision, what, what we want to achieve, and this will drive our conversations. What about the discussions? What what were the things that you know you realized during the, the prioritization? What well, I, I were comments? One one thing. Uh, I mean, it's a, a little bit related to the vision. Uh, I missed the maybe weights, different weights on the on the variables on, on it. So it, I don't know because if you take it in equal, so it kind of it, the vision is brilliant. Same. So and. That's important. Those levers are not set in stone. And your company can have different weights for different levers. Mm -hmm. Okay? Perhaps your comp company think that business value or use value has twice more importance than yeah. uh, time criticality, because you don't have time criticality. Perhaps you're a startup, then you have time criticality. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you work with government and then uh, the, the risk reduction is important, otherwise you're gonna have like fines and so on. And it, it's exactly what I said. It's not set to stone. You, you, you need to define up front what are your levers. And then I can bring it here. Is this is just an example. Sit with your team or people that will discuss and come up, this is just an example. What business value means to you? Perhaps you want to divide business value and user value in two different levels. You mentioned about, uh, I, th I think about user and their perspective. Perhaps it should be one variable just mm -hmm. for that and what you're going to consider and assess that. Uh, this is, again, it's just an example. But before we, we start joining or deepening the estimation, we should def define variables. Yeah. What about the way that we, you guys were discussing to each other? Was it, what, there was a difference between the first level up to the end, to the third level? Was it easier? Was it harder? Did it yeah, it got easier with time. Uh, we why do you think the third uh, stage was the easiest I think because we kind of knew our priorities from the uh, from the stages before mm -hmm. because we already discussed uh, for example these two buildings and we know that this is uh, we should pr prioritize this more than that because we we just knew more facts about the city and the building so it was easier you, you start creating a picture together right yeah we, we could say that. Then it becomes easy. Uh, by chance, didn't you realize that perhaps, oh, she focused more on user, I'm more focused on time, perhaps? Uh, how, how people operate can be different when yeah, we are yeah. prioritizing. Yeah. And the more we work together, the more we learn how the other prioritize. 
and then it becomes easier to, to do the negotiation, the deals. Was, did you realize that or no? It's a short exercise, but you're going to start learning how people operate and what they value. Again, value, and I see the most problem that in our organizations is we see it as a one dimensional thing. Yeah. But value for me, 100% sure is different for you. Yeah. Usually, I'm an engineer, so I'm going to have a bias towards time criticality when we have to deliver this buy. If you get a UX design or someone, they're going to focus on user. Now, user is my main point here. User, and, and that's important. This is the, the, the good thing, having different perspectives. Uh, Don, the guy who wrote that book, uh, they say, he says that this is, by the way, before I say that, uh, was this more, um, objective in terms of focusing one variable each time, was it easier or harder? Harder. Harder. To focus. Because you Why? have to keep on keep on, on, on this one particular value and it's quite hard to not mix in with another and thinking it's, I, I felt that during our discussions that we're kind of keep drifting to another value but we still should kind of stick to one value at the moment, and, but it was hard. Sometimes it mixed up because you have sort of vision in your head and kind of still going into the future mixing up and wasn't easy. Actually. How to split concerns? Yeah. Was it easy? What is the difference between business value and time criticality or risk risk opportunity in time criticality? What is the difference between these what are the things? It's hard to split and probably you're gonna mix yes. them. And, and this, this is very hard. This is an exercise that we have to do. Perhaps come up with the variables that we will focus on for business value. It's hard to separate concerns. Definitely it's hard. It's, it's not an easy exercise. It's something that we have to practice. So, and what about focusing, at the same time, focusing on one variable only? Did it bring more objectivity to the conversations or no? Different point of view. Different point of view? Like mirror. Sorry, sorry? It is mm -hmm. like uh, looked to the mirror. Mm -hmm. It is uh, very strange to look from the side. Very strange? No, it is a new experience. New experience. And uh, is this feasible to be applied in your environments? Do you think that it's possible? Yeah. No? no? Why? Uh, as we talked with a colleague, uh, I think it's the uh, best time to apply this technique if you have many projects at, the mo at, at one given time. Mm -hmm. But if it's few projects, then mm -hmm. it's not. Uh, and how do you prioritize those few projects? Do you have like a leadership meeting where I mean, uh, it gives value when it's concurrent projects. Yes. A few okay. projects can go along. Yes. Uh, do you have limited capacity to the projects that you are performing right now? Not at the moment. So you have capacity for them now, as I mentioned. If you, have, if you don't have the constraint of capacity, yeah. so you have capacity yeah. to do them all, you just do it. Yeah. So privatization comes to the table whenever we have limited capacity and we have to optimize that capacity. Uh, currently I'm working at Mascard and uh, I've been attending some meetings where there is different VPs from different areas and believe me they, there's a good discussion in terms of which one has more priority. Because of course each one will, you know, my, it, this is my priority for, for me. So that that's the way to try to bring more objectivity to, to the table, because usually when we have meetings and we define priorities and people don't believe in it, without like economic view on this, how much it costs to my pocket, whenever people walk away from the door, what happens? Priorities will change, I don't mind much. So if we have an economic view, how much it's gonna cost me, and we compared things, it tends to last more, it tends to, to keep that prioritization. And then here we have the, the, the meaning of, value stream, if it's a big corporation, we can 
have value streams, uh, residential, uh, commercial, and how we're going to prioritize that, we start off having a vision, product vision. What is our, then it aligns, you mentioned, align to business goals, the model that you had. Yeah. I mean, aligns with, align with business, business goals. So we start with business goals, which one is going to be aligned to our business goals. And then goes to what, sorry, I don't remember his name, what you mentioned. Uh, perhaps you should wait more other variables to align with business goals. Again, it's not set to the stone. We have to come up and uh, with our levers, which one yeah. fits our context. That's important. And it's not easy to adopt. I mean, easy to, to start selling this idea, but believe me, whenever this start, this works, it, it's way easier to, to, to have like prioritization at feature level, at level. Which one we should do first? Uh, some references. Uh, this game here is on the internet. Uh, one guy, this guy, Agile, not Anarchy, developed this uh, game as part of the SAFE training, the certification. It's there. You can download, you can print it out, you can use it in your organizations. It's free there. There's even um, how to facilitate it. There's step by step, and things he explains very well how to do that. So you have a very support tool if you want to bring. Uh, Black Swan Farming is the one that I mentioned. They don't use proxies, they don't use these levers. They use literally a lot of maths. A lot of maths. Timing curve and... Uh, it, again, I tend to... Possibly it's very good, it is very good, but it's very hard to adopt. You have to invest a lot of time to understand and apply that. The levers using proxies, I think it's easier to people buy the idea and at least try to use. If you come, if you come up with a complex model, it's hard to, to convince people to use that. And there's a book there that I mentioned, the, Pro, the principles of product development flow. It is not an easy reading. I'm gonna tell you, I read this once, but I should read at least twice more to to understand him more. So it's the guy who created this cost of delay model, and uh, it's very interesting how to have a product development flow within our organizations. And that's it from my side. If you have any question or anything that you would like to discuss or talk, not spam, it's very informal. Yes, you can feel free. So how, how hard was it to implement this uh, estimation in, in your current organization? Because First I introduced this in my previous one. Uh, called Equifax, yeah. where we were doing quarterly plannings, what we call PI plannings in SAFE framework. Yeah. So every three months I had to fly to the US and we had meetings and planning the next three months and so on. And uh, things happened that that, uh, that uh, meeting parts changing all the time and sometimes even some heating discussions. And then we, we introduced this. So, so look, we have to do this up front. We have to have a way that we're going to assess objectively our features. Because there were different business owners, so called business owners, competing to, to bring their features in. And uh, there was, in the safe, we have like a, what they call RTE, the Release Training Engineer, which is a Scrum Master for Scrum Masters, that works in that level. It has more influence. And then we work together to bring that uh, that uh, idea of which if, in other words we have to assess our context but for that case it was a bit of shock if you don't bring your feature to that meeting where we're going to discuss the WSDF and calculate the WSDF don't bring it to, during the planning because it's gone so they were made kind of obliged to bring and have the arguments to discuss yeah. with the others and then they would come up with the, the, the list. And the product owner, we had a product owner, the product owner had the final word. I like did. Also, we had also, I don't like to use this word in power, but the product owner would give the final word if there is, you know, if he would take account of. But I, and now I'm trying to introduce bit by bit. It's a bit hard. It's been a bit hard. But uh, again, uh, 
the business owners are not located where I am. I'm in Dublin. They're in America. But uh, I I want to to bring this. I'm working with the business analysts to start having this inclusive and bring to the solution management meeting the questions and the discussions. Again, it's a bit hard to. I was to answer how it's a bit hard because if I ask based on the context, if you have a sponsor to that, it's the easiest thing. Is yeah. if the, your feature was not uh, assessed by that committee of people, these owners or whatever you call this, and we didn't come up with the wisdom for that, it won't be done. So you have to go through this process of having a wisdom yeah. before it goes to development teams. But again, assess the different levers and wait which yeah. ones are more approach for you. The first thing is transparency of course. We bring transparency and objectivity. Everyone being on the same page and talking about something that is tangible, not those, oh, this is more important than that. Especially the first picture we can first show, the first slide was Hippo and, 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 and the very loudest uh, speaking guy. So, uh, I know a lot of Lithuanian companies, especially smaller companies, where this is, uh, you say, very. Uh, Keep us a good very common. It's very common. It's very common. If you don't have objectivity, or either the LDV or the hypo will emerge in that group and will define. Yeah, because the moment we have this with the hippo and then louder speaking. <laughs> That's it. So and perhaps and then we end up not developing the features that we should. Yeah. And, if, and people walk away from the door and they say, no, this shouldn't be the priority. But that guy with the highest pick, you know, person defined that. And so, again, it's to bring an economic view into our decisions. You can, you know, take the idea of these and try to apply it to your context. And this example, uh, for which layer does it fit? For example, uh, this example was uh, for projects. Let's say we build a city. Uh, mm -hmm. So it means you can calculate the uh, uh, value which, which bring you in the future. Uh, let's say for the product which is implemented already, it's also a uh, good idea to calculate which feature will bring you better uh, revenue later. Yes. What about project if it's not yet implemented, if you have a plan, let's say for one year, you split it to, to, to each day and does it make uh, sense to calculate which task is uh, will bring you uh, task? What are the, the the things that you work uh, in task projects or you work? What are the? Let's say if you implement a software, yeah, mm -hmm. a project stands for one year. Mm -hmm. You split it to to, to stories, to tasks, yeah. and does it make sense to to bring this uh, calculation to, to that? Uh, I I would say that into user stories now. That that's that's it's too granular. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have like whenever the f uh, it's again it's focused on value that we are delivering at the end, mm -hmm. and uh, user stories deliver, should deliver value, but the feature itself is yeah. what they are aiming to del to to prioritize, mm -hmm. right? Perhaps there are features it's going to be cut in slice, yeah. and you come up with your MVP. Mm -hmm. But I would say that depends on what what is the name that you use, but usually. Usually, it's uh, uh, stories, features, and epics, or themes, or initiatives. I would say that from features upwards. Mm -hmm. uh, I no, I wouldn't advise this for um, stories because this is the no, no overhead. Mm -hmm. I want to get people, yeah. and you know, how much time we spend for four stories or eight stories, and a group of big group of people. That's that's not really the the, the goal of this. The goal of this is is, is a higher level. It's, Perhaps the project, the delivery, mm -hmm. and delivering a smaller piece, but I wouldn't go for daily uh, tasks. Uh, no, yeah, it's an overhead. You're gonna, the team will hate you. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's more. Uh, I would say that it's more in a strategic. If I can summarize now, it's more strategic uh, layers, mm -hmm. okay. not operational, not whoever is performing the work, but mm -hmm. whoever is deciding which work we should do. Okay. Whenever it goes to the team. It's a right prioritized.
that's it folks uh, thanks a lot and uh, if you have any question or anything i can share this material with you uh, it's available on the internet or on that website anarchy agile not anarchy feel free to download that and apply to your teams